forests of Maryland, there is said to exist a creature so terrifying and so violent that its name is still used even today to scare young children and adults alike. While he is commonly laughed at when mentioned, there are those who lock their car doors, particularly when driving down Fletchertown Road at night, a road where the Goatman is said to patrol for his victims. The first mentions of the Goatman may have been whispered between the locals as early as the 1960s, but his first mention in the media came about in the 1970s in the local Prince George County newspaper. The article describes some old folklore that was known in the area by generations past, including the Goatman himself, but also another creature known as the Bone and also known to served to haunt the woods and cause distress upon those foolish enough to be found there at night. Two weeks later, the same newspaper printed an article about a family with the name Edwards who'd lost their dog named Ginger. The article goes on to explain that after a thorough search by the family, the body of their dog was found lying on the side of Fletchertown Road, its head savagely torn off. It would become one of the first modern incidents that would become associated with the goat man particularly when the Edwards' 16-year-old daughter and her friends claimed to have seen a large creature near their home the same night that their dog had gone missing. Pretty soon, there were a string of reports of an obscure-looking animal that walked on two legs, all of which were seen along Fletchertown Road. The Goatman would soon find a much larger audience to scare, however, when the Washington Post posted an article about Ray Hayden, John Hayden, and Willie Gein the three men responsible for finding Ginger the dog. It would see the Goatman become a more recognised creature amongst the likes of Bigfoot and the Loch Ness Monster. In fact, some have even cited the Goatman as being the Maryland Bigfoot, in the sense that the creature is both staggering to comprehend and yet totally elusive. But what is the Goatman? Or who is the Goatman? Where did it come from? And what does it want? Well, accounts describe the Goatman as being a creature that stands over six feet tall. A creature that is literally half man and half goat. He's said to be pilos, and sometimes foul smelling, and in some accounts has a high pitched squeal. He has curled black horns, unkempt and unruly hair, and large claw like hands. In other accounts, he is never seen without his trusty axe cradled in his arms. There are many variations of the Goatman of Maryland, which are passed down from generation to generation. More often or not, the Goatman is the Maryland Boogeyman, a mere fictitious creature that children use to tease each other with, or that parents use to scare their children into behaving better. But for others, the Goatman has a more concrete existence, and even has his own origin story. There are those that believe the Goatman was once a lonely old herder, who kept himself to himself in the woods. However, one night, a few teenagers stumbled upon his herd and killed them. When the old herder found the bodies of his beloved goats, he went insane with rage. The sight of the goat's blood angered him so much so that it actually affected his physiology, turning him in to the goat man. Others believed that the herder turned to satanic rituals to help him overcome his grief, and that in an ironic twist, the devil turned him into a hybrid goat himself, a creature hellbent on revenge against teenagers in particular. The telling of the tale fits in with the targets that the goat man is said to prey on, with the exception of dogs and other household pets. Teenagers across Maryland from the 1970s onwards reported several sightings of the goat man, some of which were said to have been chased by the creature, which yells and squeals and makes hideous goat noises as he gallops after them. Others believe that the Goatman specifically targets lovers, and that Fletchertown Road serves as the perfect nucleus for this endeavour, given that the road has a reputation as being a lover's lane. Teens and adults both have used the surrounding areas to park their cars, and given the seclusion of the woods, it makes for the perfect space to get to know one another a little better, without the prying eyes of anyone, 
except the Goatman, that is. In some reports, the Goatman appears to be wielding a large axe and pounces upon unsuspecting victims who are getting busy in the back seat. Reports claim that the Goatman smashes cars open with an inhuman strength, breaks windows, hacks away at doors, and even slashes tires to prevent his victims' escape. Other accounts claim that the Goatman is far more strategic and lures his prey out of their cars by making deliberate sounds, encouraging the lovers to exit their vehicles and investigate. In one of the more bizarre tales about the Goatman, he is said to be the result of a terrible experiment gone wrong at the Beltsville Research Agricultural Center. Funnily enough, the theories about this grew to be so popular amongst the locals, and the tale began to obtain so much merit, that the research center actually came out to officially deny the allegations. Needless to say, the tale of the Goatman had become a teen obsession, and would see many teens who were out of their minds go Goatman hunting in the woods. However, it appears that despite these hunting parties, the Goatman remains a dark mystery that sits in the woods of Maryland and Prince George County. Many believe that the popularity of the Goatman was influenced by the car culture of the 60s and 70s, where cars gave young people the freedom to explore and discover the world around them. It was a time before the internet, and I imagine the only way to experience anything was to get out there and actually experience it. After all, you couldn't just type in the goat man in Google if you wanted to see the creature, and you certainly couldn't have a handsome British man explain it to you over YouTube, please subscribe. No, you'd actually have to go out there and find the goat man, and then... Well, then it might have been too late as he buried his axe into your head. But in all seriousness, I can certainly see where the legends of the goat man became solidified in the community's everyday life at the time, because it promoted adventure and the exploration of the unknown, both <laughs> geographically and perhaps supernaturally too. Another idea that is said to have given birth to the Goatman was that students in Prince George County were said to have been learning about Greek mythology and possibly the half-man, half-goat god Pan. It's entirely possible that the Goatman was created by a group of school kids who drew inspiration from their textbooks and like the memes of today, it eventually gained traction and became a worldwide phenomenon. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below about what you think about the Goatman of Maryland. Is this just a teenager's fantasy spawned out of boredom of the previous generation? Or is there something hauntingly...